السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ مائی لولی اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو انادر ماڈیول آف یور فیوریٹ کلاس یور ویری اون ورچوئل سائنس کلاس بفور وی اسٹارٹ دا لیسن آنسر اے فیو آف مائی کویشچنس نیم اے فیو آف گاڈس کریشنس آف آل گاڈس کریشنس سم کین موو اینڈ سم اسٹے ان ون پلیس لائک ماؤنٹینس نیم اے فیو تھنگس وچ کین ناٹ موو Are these things living or non-living? From where do we get food? Send me your answers through audios. All living things depend directly or indirectly on plants for their food and the beauty of plants is that they make their own food. In most of the plants, the leaves prepare food in the presence of sunlight, air and water. Let us first learn how about the structure of the leaf and how plants prepare food every leaf has a leaf blade petiole midrib veins and stomata let us learn about each of them one by one the flat and broad part of the leaf is called the leaf blade the leaf blade is attached to the stem of the plant through a tiny stalk called the petiole the petiole takes water from the stem to the leaf blade a thick line runs from the center of the leaf towards its tip this is the main vein also known as the midrib there are numerous tiny lines that run throughout the leaf these are called veins all these veins along with the midrib provide shape and support to the leaf they also carry water to the different parts of the leaf a number of tiny openings are present on the under surface of a leaf these tiny openings are called stomata they help a leaf to exchange gases they take in carbon dioxide gas from the air and release oxygen Cooking uses so many different ingredients in the same way leaves which are the food factory or kitchen of the plant need different ingredients for making its food These ingredients include water from the soil carbon dioxide from the air and sunlight Water from the soil is absorbed by the roots of the plant From roots water travels through the stem and the petiole and then to the leaves Water is distributed to the entire surface of the leaves by the veins. To take carbon dioxide from the air, there are stomata. Stomata are the minute openings present on the lower surface of the leaves. Through stomata, carbon dioxide moves inside the leaves. The third ingredient that is sunlight is trapped by chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a special substance present on the upper surface of the leaves. Once all the ingredients are present leaves use energy from the sunlight and change water and carbon dioxide to food and oxygen the oxygen so formed is then released into the air through the stomata the process of preparing food by plants from carbon dioxide and water using sunlight is called photosynthesis the term photosynthesis comes from two words photo meaning light and synthesis meaning putting together 